Well, Yolanda, the majority of people that I spoke to today told me that they do not support this ordinance. There's already a group of people here outside of City Hall who are in opposition of the ordinance. You don't take somebody that's hurting and down on their luck and make it worse. An ordinance in Newark causing some people to question City Council's judgment on addressing the issue of homelessness. That's not going to help them. It's going to make them worse. They're not going to be able to pay any fines or anything. According to the legislation, if passed, camping would be illegal on public property. On the first offense, it would be a minor misdemeanor, and then a misdemeanor in the fourth degree for each offense after. Henry Doyle, a New York resident, says that penalty is wrong. I don't agree with them, you know, just pitching tents up on the sidewalks and stuff, stuff like that, but they need some place to go. As we get started, today. Deb Dingus, the executive director of United Way, also does not agree with the ordinance. Instead, she's pushing for a low barrier shelter, a 24 7 shelter for homeless. That right now doesn't exist in Licking County. Once they have a bed, we then have the opportunity to start providing other solutions that would help improve their lives. Bill Cost Jr. is the only member of New York City Council that agreed to do an interview with us today about the ordinance. The homeless have been an issue in Newark for some time. He told us he will not support the ordinance. We've got to find a better solution than jail. And I think that's up to us as a city council and as a community. But some of your colleagues clearly support this. What do you try to talk to them about? Well, we all have different ideas. And everybody in their own way is going to try to help to the best of their ability. But we're not always going to agree. Now, if that ordinance does pass the safety committee tonight, then New York City Council will vote on it at its next meeting. We'll, of course, keep you updated. Reporting live in New York, Tara Jabor, 10 TV News. All right, thank you, Tara. Now, just over two months ago, the Supreme Court of the United States ruled bans on people sleeping outside in public places are considered legal. The high court overturned a California court's ruling that said laws banning such a thing were cruel and unusual in places where there wasn't enough shelter. It was a six to three decision, the majority arguing the issue is complex and the courts do not have a place in homelessness policy. Justices who did not agree said sleep is a necessity.